Hey guys, it's Matt from AppleMediaCenter.com, and today's tutorial is all about installing a program called Couch Potato. Uh, there is one requirement, and that is that you have SAB NZB Plus installed, so if you don't have it, click this button right now. Otherwise, if you do have that up and running, let's get to the tutorial. First thing we want to do, open up our web browser of choice, and go to CouchPotatoApp.com. When you get here, you don't have to worry about looking at the website. What we want to do is just click on this button right here, OSX or Linux. Click that. It will give you an option to download um, the file. I already have it, so I'm not going to, but you should click Save File. And then we're going to just close this browser window. So in my Downloads folder, as you can see, I've got this Rudburger Couch Potato Jibber Jabber over here. I'm going to double-click this zip file, and I'm going to uh, rename it from this long name to just Couch Potato. What I'm going to do with that now is drag it to my Applications folder, and then go into my Applications folder. Um, right here, we're going to open up the Couch Potato app, and to uh, install and open it, it's very simple. You just click the app. Now, it might take a second to load, but I will just say that I am about to go along with everything that's in the written tutorial online, so um, pretty much everything you don't understand here or don't quite get, go to the written tutorial. You can see it there as well, or vice versa. So, the first thing we want to do is change a few of the options around. Um, not too many, but just a few. And we do that by going to this uh, gear uh, icon. We want to go to General first, and um, we're going to change a few things here. Uh, we're going to change the port. Um, as you can see, actually, it just changed <laughs> in front of your eyes. But this is normally going to say 5,000. So I'm just going to delete the normal variables here. Um, this is what a normal window would look like. It would say 5,000, no username, no password. It will say Launch Browser and say 24 hours. We want to change the port to uh, 8082. And the reason is, if you've installed the uh, SAB NZBD, you'll see that that port is 8080. Sickbeard, uh, another installation, is 8081. And we're just, for continuity's sake, making this 8082. It's very nice and easy to remember. And we want to make a username and password. For me, it's AMC, Apple Media Center. And then my very silly, easy password. I'm going to uncheck Launch Browser, so that when you uh, restart your computer, it doesn't automatically open Couch Potato every single time. And I'm going to change the search from 24 hours to every one hour. I'm kind of finicky about that. I like to be constantly searching for things for me. And that's it for this section. So we're just going to scroll down and click Save. The next section we want to go to is uh, Downloaders. And we're going to configure this so that it works with our installation of SAB NZBD. Now, I don't have my installation of SAB running yet, so I'm just going to click that. So now this is up and running. And what we want to do is um, change a few things. One, we want to say download to SAB NZBD. Uh, our retention is, for me, it's I think 100, 1,200 days. I'm going to put that with uh, Power Usenet. Our host is correct, localhost 8080. And the API key we need to go get. That's why I just opened up SAB NZBD. So we're going to go into SAB NZBD, go into the config menu, go into the general menu, and scroll down just a little bit. You'll see the API key right here. So we're just going to take that, copy it, go back into Couch Potato, and paste. Um, now we will need to put in our, our login credentials for SAB and ZBD, so we're going to put those down here. Our username and our password. And the category where uh, movies should be put, that's really up to you. Um, as you'll see right here, this is what they're talking about under categories. Category, default, blank, movies, TV. Uh, TV. I'm just going to leave it under movies. So what I'm going to do is just put movies right here. And then over here it says torrents. We don't want to worry about torrents. The whole point is that we're using uh, NZBs. So, that's done. We're going to click Save. Settings are successfully saved. Then we want to go to Providers. Now, this is where you need to have an NZB Matrix account or one of these other accounts, NewsBin, NewsNab, or uh, NZBD or, or NZB's RUS. Um, some of these are free, some of these are not. The one that's not free is NZBmatrix.com. Um, and I'm not about to put in my information, but if you get an account, if you go in your user menu, you can get the username and API key right here. And that will um, allow you to download automatically movies from NZB Matrix. I'm not going to bother putting any information in right now just for the sake of the tutorial, but you will need to fill in information in one of these or this will just not work at all. Um, okay, so the next thing we want to do is add our first movie. So what we're going to do is, uh, let's save one more time, beautiful. We're going to go right here to do our searches. And I'm going to do one quick search and I'll explain things for you here. Um, it's presenting me on this side with all these options of what I can search for in terms of quality. 
and this is the movie name. Um, what I'm going to search for is a movie called Cool as Ice. It's, uh, you'll see it in a lot, of my, a lot of my tutorials. I'm not even going to bother with this right here just yet because this doesn't even function until we click Add so it can find the movie. So you'll see what I mean. I'm going to click Add. It's searching and it'll eventually find the movie I'm searching for, or it won't, but, uh, and give me some numerous options, but it did. It found the one movie I'm searching for, which is Cool as Ice, the movie starring Vanilla Ice in 1991. I think it was in theaters for one week back when I was a huge Vanilla Ice fan. It's very comical. That's why I use it in all my tutorials. Anyway, uh, Cool as Ice right here. And now we're going to select the quality we want. You can say DVD rip. You can say you want a Blu-ray rip. You can say you want a 720p rip or even a 1080p rip, not that, not that it exists, of this really crappy movie. So I'm just going to click DVD rip. And then I'm going to click Add. And then it added it, but we're in this uh, still in the gear section. So I'm going to click Want It, and then there it is. So what this program does, that we're done by the way, that's it. That's all we need to do. So what this program will do now, and, uh, and you can keep adding movies. You could say, you know, up, add it in there, and then say I only want, uh, oh, hmm, interesting, that's never happened before. Let's try, let's say, once it finishes loading, This is certainly embarrassing. You know what? Screw this whole thing up here. Basically what it's going to do, we've added this movie, what it's going to do is it's going to try to find this movie as a DVD rip until it can. So every time you add another search, uh, or every time you, it, it tries to search, which for us will be every hour, it's going to keep trying to find it. So until it finds this movie, it's going to keep searching for it. Um, there are a few other things you can do if you tweak some settings, which I'll get into in a whole other tutorial, where you can, um, it'll go through various stages of, of quality. So it'll try to find a DVD rip and then a, an HD rip until it finds like the, the whatever quality you tell it to. It could be as high as a 1080p rip. But at the end of the day, it'll keep searching for the files that you want until it does, which is amazing. You can put files in right now that uh, aren't even out on Blu-ray or even out on DVD yet. And once it comes out, it'll be there, which is very cool. So um, that's pretty much it for Couch Potato. Uh, it's a great little program. It works very well, and um, it, my media center wouldn't be the same without it. So, hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, post it in the uh, YouTube comments. And uh, yeah, definitely enjoy using Couch Potato, and be on the lookout for more really cool tutorials that help you uh, expand on this this amazing program because we only only scratch the surface.